I want to simplify this conversation. Okay. I mean, you're talking about Grand Slam teams, you're talking about the current San Miguel team, but name me a team that came back from a 0-3 deficit and still won the championship. If your answer is there is one other than San Miguel 2016, and I will not talk again. <laughs> <laughs> okay, 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 that makes sense. All right. This, this is not a rebuttal. This is, this is just to reinforce what <laughs> oh, <thank you. laughs> Because we're on the same page. Again. This, is, this is two times in a row. Okay, yeah. I like that, Ali. I mean, yeah, I can't think of any team. I'd have to go look in the... The, the books of uh, the NBA to see who, what team has come back from an 0-3 deficit. Well, I still believe that 2016 is a lot stronger than 2019, but I also grew up, I did not grow enough, but I was like <laughs> part of that uh, group of people that really was supporting San Miguel, especially that 1989 team. But the thing with that uh, roster compared to the roster of San Miguel right now is, for example, a Hector Calma. Can you imagine Hector Calma scoring against Chris Ross? I don't think so. Mm -hmm. That is going to be really, really tough. So I, think he, he, I think he can. I think he can. <laughs> you know, he's, okay. he's the director. Okay. The game is just played differently. The game is just played differently right now. No, so that, that is, my honest assessment is really that 2016, <laughs> with the kind of a psychological strength that mm -hmm. they exhibited down two games to three against TNT again uh, in the semifinals, then went all the way to the finals again, down 0 and 3, and was still able to conquer Alaska, not because of their sheer talent and skill set, but because of their strength in the mind. Mm -hmm.